Look behind you. Insane. Whoa, did you see that just shoot across? Did anyone else see that? What is it? Be careful, be careful. What is that? Ah, but that could be a satellite. That could be a satellite. Oh, what the Dude. Yeah, whatever that thing was in the first video, that thing went vroom, right on by. It didn't seem like CGI to me, but I can't explain what would be able to move that fast in the air. Yo, what is up my good people and welcome back for a brand new video. So yeah, unfortunately this week I managed to get sick somehow, probably from work, but you know, life's life. I'm not going to complain about it too much. I've been taking medicine, you know, hanging in there, trying to rest as much as I can, but you know, the bills don't pay themselves, so gotta still get out there and work, but hey, that's all good. We ain't taking no days off around here. All right, in this video, we're going to be doing the usual and watching some of the most bizarre and creepiest TikToks. I could find today. So if that sounds good with you guys, let's get right back into it. I can prove to you that you can get an entire society to believe in a lie. These all go to the same place. 95% of everything that ends up in those barrels gets burned or buried. And of the 5% that actually does get recycled, it takes more energy to do that than it would to just throw it away and make new stuff. And some of the recycling projects they do, like cutting up plastic and tires to make kids tracks and sports fields, it gives them cancer. Every time you separate your garbage and you get it into the right bins, you wheel it out on the right morning so it can get picked up by the right truck, you feel like a good person. But you're not, you're ignorant. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, there's definitely more nicer ways to go about spreading information, but if you want to take this dickhead's route, then sure. But yeah, I knew about this years ago. Recycling cardboard is useless pretty much, but now aluminum and glass, on the other hand, yeah, that's good to recycle, but yeah, man, cardboard is just useless. Something extremely strange caught my eye when I was watching the Grammys last night. So Dodge A Cat pulled up and I noticed that she had a bunch of new tattoos. But one in particular caught my eye and it was the one on her forehead. And it reads the Lara Fendikoglu. And when you look her up, she's a young fashion designer who puts spells and witchcraft into her clothing and she even says it herself. With my clothes, I kind of do witchcraft because I believe in reincarnation. Like obviously my spirit chose this body and knew it was going to be. Fashion designer. The deeper you look into her artwork or clothing or designs, whatever you call it, everything is just super dark. She also hosted this dark themed Versailles party, and last year her runway was hosted in what looked like to be an abandoned church or warehouse. And I thought they played music during a runway show, but hers, she played the sound of water dropping. Listen to this. <laughs> Doja Cat probably just had a temporary tattoo, just trying to get attention, nothing new. But yeah, um, what's up with the weirdos at the end though, you guys? I mean, they call that a fashion show. Bunch of idiots, like look at the people in the crowd. Somebody dressed this woman up looking like she's trying to be Iron Man with Freddy Krueger. Got a dress made out of butter knives. Ah, you'll see me, you'll see. Out here doing this runway for this demonic cosplay event. Or I mean fashion show is what they like to call it nowadays. This is DICE Digital Curated Experience. It is a personal mobility that will be utilized as a hailing mobility, such as Uber, you would have an app, call it to you. It's fully AI, robotics driving technology, and powered by hydrogen fuel cell technology. You would board the vehicle, put your phone into the armrest. From there, the onboard AI will connect with your phone. It'll data mine and go through text, uh, text messages, email, social media, web browsing history, schedule, and it'll create a digitally immersive experience personalized to you. All three windows are actual digital screens. Once it personalizes to you, it'll make the presumption if you are a businessman, it becomes a mobile office. If you're a child who enjoys video games, an immersive video game environment. 
The AI service agent ideally would make preemptive decisions for you based upon your points of interest. Drive by some shops that you would normally uh, make purchases at. It can turn into an online e-commerce platform to make purchases directly from Dice. What in the hell? Like, we just want affordable health care. Is that too much to ask for? Yeah, I don't think I'll ever be riding in one of these future Ubers. And if I do, I'm damn sure not hooking my phone up so they can sit here and go through all my emails and my text messages. Crazy things I've seen on TikTok today. I'm about to show you a video from an airplane that looks like there is a ship, like, in the clouds. People are in uproar after Taylor Swift snatched her award away from Celine Dion at the Grammys and didn't even acknowledge her existence. I know the Swifties are not going to like this. I don't like Taylor Swift. I never have, and I'm not shocked by this behavior. King Charles III, otherwise known as the lying, cheating scoundrel that cheated on Princess Diana, has been diagnosed with cancer. Tucker Carlson was or is in Russia, and there are rumors that he will be visiting Putin for an interview. I don't know why it wasn't, but that wasn't on my bingo card for this year. Medical malpractice lawsuits are on the rise, but Florida actually just proposed a law that would cap medical malpractice awards, while a judge also just capped the largest medical malpractice verdict in Montana history, which took the verdict from $6 million to 250000 and like I said, with all of the medical malpractice that's on the rise, this is not good for people. And Amanda Bynes posted on her TikTok about her black blonde hair color combo. And people are fearing for her because she just does not seem like she's okay. Nah, I feel like we need to talk a little bit more about that first one with the ship in the clouds. Because, yeah, what in the world was that thing, you know? But, yeah, Amanda Bynes, yeah, she hasn't been all the way there in the head for quite a while now. It's nothing new. I mean, most of us 90s kids grew up watching the Amanda Bynes show. So to see her like this nowadays is just pretty sad for us fans, but yeah. Morbid Facts, part 384. When Prince died in 2016, he didn't leave a will for his estate worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Within three weeks of his accidental overdose, nearly 700 people claimed to be his half-sibling in hopes of cashing in on his death. In 1964, an accident at a nuclear facility in Rhode Island resulted in the largest single full-body dose of radiation in history. The victim received the equivalent to 700,000 x-rays at the same time and died in total agony 49 hours later. Here's a photo of serial killer John Wayne Gacy hugging his sister just before his execution. The killer clown murdered at least 33 young men and boys and hid their remains under his house. He was executed by lethal injection in 1994. In 2005, Indiana man Anthony Stockelman essayed and murdered a 10-year-old girl named Katie. Unfortunately for him, Katie's uncle was an inmate at the same prison he was sent to. As payback for what he did, the man tattooed the words Katie's Revenge across Stockelman's forehead. Wow, it's so wild when I'm sitting here thinking about it. it's almost been eight years since Prince passed away. Crazy how fast time flies these days. But yeah, on a side note, that last one was like, what the hell? The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world designed to turn humans into one of these, a battery. Uh, these, quote, gods, these entities, are feeding off human energy, but it's a particular type of human energy. Um, every time we feel emotion, every time we think, we're generating frequencies. And those frequencies, in terms of what the frequencies are, relate to the nature of the emotion and the nature of the thought. And scientists have worked out what these frequencies are for different emotions, right? These entities, by their very nature, um, are very low vibrational in nature because anyone that wants to impose their will and manipulate and cause suffering and war and death and destruction is in a very low vibrational state. And if they're going to feed off human energy, they can only feed off it if we are delivering it within the band of frequency they can absorb. The royal families um, are royal and consider themselves special bloodlines, the blue bloods, because they uh, are vehicles 
for this demonic realm to enter our realm. People like to call David Icke a wacko, but yeah, I'm not going to be so quick to knock on this man. Who knows? Everything he's speaking about right here could be correct. But yeah, I'm not going to be the one to sit here and say for sure that it's not, you know? I got to show you guys one of the most bizarre videos I'll probably show you guys this year. This could be a giant, or it could also be a glitch in the matrix. Something that caused this man to be able to see outside our world. This man was recording a thunderstorm, and he was able to capture this huge creature walking in the sky. It's a very short video, but I guarantee you that it's extremely interesting. Nothing I've ever seen before. Let's check out the video. What was this man able to capture in this bizarre video? Could this be a window to another dimension where he was able to see a giant? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, that sound effect was a little too much for me. It came at the wrong time, but if I seen that outside of my house, I think I would definitely be running right to the bathroom after I just shit myself. Unless there's something in the clouds that's making a shadow like that, I really don't know what the hell that damn thing is. Look at this, you guys. This right here is undeniable proof. This was sent to me from a Reddit group that plants mushrooms. These are people that plant mushrooms. And an 80-year-old lady from East London came across this in her mushroom garden. Look at that, y'all. That's not a mushroom, is it? Look at this. Look at that, y'all. Check this out. Look. What the hell? Look at the anatomy of this thing. Right? This is more proof than what we have been getting from the government when, when they be showing us these little clay figures that they be that they be making in the lab. But I took a little video of it to show you guys and give you guys a little closer look. Look at that, y'all. Look at its face. Looks evil, huh? Very evil. Got the big head. Just like the alien versus predators. Look at that. And here is another angle of it. Oh my God, look at the nose, y'all. Oh, wow. It's got a big snout. Man, it just looks evil. Very, very evil. What do you guys think? Okay, January started off with weird earthquakes in Japan. Now here we got February starting off with weird little potato aliens coming out of the ground. I really have no clue, but if it was me, I would cut it open and see what the hell is on the inside. People enjoy burning scented candles in their home. I think scented candles are one of the most dangerous things that you can do to uh, make your indoor air quality unhealthy. First of all, these candles are made from paraffin. Paraffin is a petroleum product. You're burning basically petroleum, knowingly, willingly, in your own home environment. These candles release into their air alkanes and alkenes which are also found in car exhaust then scented candles to make mat matters worse they're scented generally with artificial fragrances and what's in every single artificial fragrance an ingredient called phthalates another petroleum product that is a no serious hormone disruptor oh yeah yeah i never really considered how bad a simple candle could be for us but but yeah after watching this and really thinking about it makes perfect sense oh it's just sad but but hey at least i'm finding out now i'd rather find out now than find out later that's for sure olive oil is amazing until you cook it grapeseed oil is good too even when you cook grapeseed oil it doesn't collapse you know in these hot heats and it doesn't turn into a bunch of gunk like other oils do that's why you know if you are going to fry some food which i don't recommend you do but if you want to play around in creation and fry some foods if you're not healing or going through a detoxification symptom uh the only oil i would cook with or would fry with is grapeseed oil because the way that it sustains heat it has a way of just sustaining heat and not allowing 
on heat to break it down and turn it into a glunk or a glue and that's why i think sabi was into cooking with that oil because it doesn't really destroy itself or the molecular structure that makes it up when it's under high heat olive oil you can completely destroy our olive oil when you introduce it to heat that's why a lot of italians when they use olive oil which they do a lot and notice that their heart disease is very very low because they take so much olive oil but they mix it with lemons they put rosemary in it and then they put it on top of their salads they never put heat to it so olive oil is good even an olive oil shot every other day is good for the heart it's good for the cardiovascular mm -hmm. system olive oil abstract is very very amazing it's when we put heat to it and we change the molecular structure that's when it becomes a drug and it starts messing up or blocking certain types of functionalities within our cellular structure so olive oil is amazing when you take it in its raw state yeah, I don't think I could take a shot of olive oil, even if I tried. But for all you peeps out there that's cooking using olive oil, just make sure to not cook using high temperatures. But yeah, I'd recommend using coconut oil. That's what I use at least. Seems to do the trick. So yeah, go with coconut oil. Pay attention and listen, because NASA found heaven using the Hubble telescope. This is why nothing in this world changes, because people believe idiotic things like this. They believe in what NASA is saying. Have you looked into the research of NASA, how NASA was founded, why it was founded, what NASA actually means? You know, believe in Hubble telescopes and, uh, you know, satellites everywhere and going to the moon and all this kind of stuff when you don't even understand the Van Allen belt? Okay, and what other scientists, real scientists say, and why it is a conspiracy to not tell you the truth. NASA, the government, the Vatican... It's all connected to what? To trick you, to trick your subconscious mind into believing idiotic stuff like this. They become your God when you believe them like this. I don't think the human eye would be capable enough to see heaven through a telescope. Don't fall for this nonsense, people. NASA is full of shit, and they use these photoshopped images to trick us all. If you haven't learned that by now, man, good God. You're going to be seeing a lot of this soon. People in public wearing that Apple Vision Pro headset thing, interacting with a world that you can't see. I'm curious to know how you'll feel when you start to see this, because of course, it's everybody's decision to put whatever they want on their face. It's none of my business. But I will say this, be very, very careful and be very suspicious of any group, whether it be a corporation or anyone else who wants to build a wall between you and reality. A wall that acts as a filter where they get to decide what your reality looks like. And I assume you know that while it's not practical to wear this device all day, the Apple Vision Pro is still very heavy and uncomfortable. They do want to get to a place where they have a device that you will put on in the morning and wear until you go to bed at night. Every tech company is in a bitter, fierce battle for the customer's attention, for their eyes and their time. Apple wants to be at the front of the line, the first thing you see, an inch away from your pupils. They want the ultimate monopoly on your attention and perception so that their ads and their interface comes before anything you might see out here. They can make it so that when you look at somebody else's billboard, you see their ad. And yes, in 2024, there is stigma against wearing one of these in public. If you tried to have a conversation with somebody wearing one of those, I think you would ask them to take it off. But only 15 years ago, there were people expressing shock at the idea of somebody stopping an in-person conversation to look down at their phone. I specifically remember a time when that was considered incredibly rude. It's like, I'm here talking to you face to face and you're checking your text messages and now it's routine. See, that's what happens with technology like this. You reach a tipping point where you'll walk into a room and you're the only one not wearing the goggles. And then it will hit you, oh, I'm actually not in the room with these people. I'm not in their world. They're in Apple's world. A world in which you can run into a stranger on the street and your headset will do facial recognition on them, bring up all of their social media and tell you their whole life story in an instant. Where the headset can instantly scan all of their records for anything offensive they may have said online. And at that point, the choice will be either join them or be left in the dark. 
But yeah, with a price tag of $4,000, most of us out here cannot afford that. We can hardly afford groceries these days, so don't see this becoming mainstream anytime soon. But yeah, definitely at some point in the future, once it's more advanced and more cheaper. But yeah, I feel like right now this is more for like the big tech rich guys. If I've got 15 minutes, 20 minutes to nap, it's just a waste of time. Was I wrong or was I right? You were understandably wrong. Good. <laughs> I'm happy because I've always rejected naps. So we've done lots of different studies with naps. And what we found is that naps can transact some fantastic benefits. They can improve cardiovascular health, low blood pressure, improve your learning and memory abilities. They can reset the emotional north of your magnetic compass in a good way, where you can de-escalate negative emotions and increase positive emotions. Now Naps certainly are a good thing. Try not to nap for about longer than 20 minutes because once you go past 20 minutes, you really start to go down into those deeper stages of non-REM sleep. And if you wake up after about 45 minutes or 60 minutes, you're going to feel almost miserable and worse than you did before the nap because you have what's called sleep inertia, essentially a sleep hangover. Yeah, nowadays, I, don't, I can't ever find time to be able to actually take a nap. Like one time I took like a 45 minute nap and I woke up just feeling so dead way more tired than I felt before. So I definitely agree with this. If you pass out for a few minutes, you wake right back up and you're ready to go. But once you go to sleep for like an hour and 20, yeah, good luck waking up after that. Did y'all hear about EBT food stamps could be coming to an end? And since March this is what they're about to say. Uh, we have been issuing emergency allotments, which means that everybody would get the regular allotment during the month. And then at the end of each month, we'd bring them up to the maximum allotment for their household size a program that will not continue in not march continue. most families will not feel this until the end of the month of march but we want to go ahead and let indiv individuals know that where they can start saving um and being able to prepare for that and this can affect 12.5 percent of the total population in america or in other words 41.2 million people now there's a lot of people that's going to be going hungry i'm just thinking what's going to be the aftermath of this because if it's one thing that I've learned in the past, it's when people get hungry, people get crazy. Every day is starting to sound more and more like the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, they talking about nation to rise against nation, earthquakes in strange places, and now the famine. The EBT shut down and 40 million people not knowing how they gonna eat. I'm pretty sure this is just for like the emergency snap and not for the actual food stamps. But still, you know, taking that little extra help away from these families is going to have them suffering, unfortunately. It's not right if you ask me, especially when inflation is only going up. Bunch of bull hockey, man. Remember when I said McDonald's is abandoning the value consumer? I'm a former McDonald's corporate chef, and in an earnings call this morning, they fully admit that they are losing the value customers, specifically those that are making $45,000 a year or less, and they are losing them to the grocery stores. So they fully admit you can go to the store and make the same food for a lot cheaper. It's almost like I provided you a bunch of options if you really want it to taste like McDonald's. One of the other interesting things to note, though, is they are saying that they are profitable this year, even though they have lost a lot of foot traffic, meaning not as many people are going to McDonald's because they continually raise the prices to these absurd levels. Middle class and higher class people are still going to McDonald's, making them more profitable. So lower income folk, McDonald's is not the place you want to go for affordable food options anymore. They said maybe in the future they'll try to target uh, lower income folks. The issue is going to be they'll probably make portion sizes that are ridiculous. You're still going to be paying, uh, paying a lot of money for what you get. Let me know in the comments if you think that this is a good strategy for McDonald's in the future. All these damn fast food restaurants have become so outrageously expensive these days. It's definitely a lot cheaper just to go shop at the grocery store. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend eating McDonald's, period. Like, that shit is garbage garbage honestly all right my good people that's gonna be a wrap for this video but i really hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did don't forget to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button also you guys make sure to not be a stranger and let me know all your thoughts about this one down there in that comment section